in the world, actually, to come here and talk and give their information. But I also got to talk on the last day. And when I shared this information, they were absolutely furious. And they have been furious ever since. There's blogs upon blogs going out there. I am now the most hated man in ufology. Okay? Because I dared share something that they couldn't. Those people that I talked to before, those researchers, they've never come against me. The ones that I didn't talk to, oh boy. You should hear the things they say. Moving on. This is an example of how we take people through and help them. This is our counseling side of it, the eight R's. Um, this will be on the video for you guys to see. I'm not going to take too much time and go through them. But we take them through. We help them recognize what they're doing. We help them take responsibility for what they're now recognizing, what they've been involved with, uh, repenting to God for being involved with it, renouncing it, getting rid of everything, or making it your enemy, removing it, uh, resisting it if it tries to come back, because you're going to piss these entities off and they're going to try to harass you for a while, okay? Which does happen. Rejoice, give God thanks for setting you free. And the completion of helping someone become free of all of this is restore. Help someone else get free. And that's where the testimonies come in. Post these testimonies, you're helping somebody else. I'm getting emails after emails after emails of new ones coming in all the time. How many cases does it take for the world to see that what I'm sharing with you today is real? How many cases? They're going to continue to come in. I'm going to continue to share this. We've been looking for an ET message for years and years and years. Guess what? The world seems to have missed the one most important ET message we've had for 2,000 years. This enemy that we're dealing with today, masquerading as angels, does not want you to have this message. They're doing everything they can to deceive us from having this message. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. This is the extraterrestrial message that's been missed. This is the one they don't want you to see. They're replacing it with their own. And it's a lie. You got questions? Go straight to the source. Don't talk to these entities. This scripture right here says, you got questions that you don't know the answers to. You got a direct connection to the creator of the universe. Call unto me, God himself. I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. But yet there's people who are channelers that are dealing with entities that have no name or they can't even verify whether who they are. They open themselves up to, you don't open a door to people you don't know who they are. You question them first. It's not happening in that realm, the New Age metaphysical realm. You have a direct connection to God himself. Okay? You know what? I can sit up here and talk to you guys and say, trust me. What I'm telling you is the truth. Do any of you really know me? Nope. So, what I'm going to say, do not trust me. Do not take my word for this, because you can trust no man. Do not trust me. I want you to trust the evidence. Okay? The real evidence. Where's the evidence on that website? The testimonies that are there? Can I do you one better? Would you like to see the evidence right now? Joyce Ahrens. You hear that name before? I had an opportunity to meet this lady a few years back, she had left her family. This is Joyce from the video. She left her family. She could no longer be part of all of that. But she was still searching for answers. She ended up in Florida, in my neighborhood. Imagine that. She interrupts my favorite TV show, happened to be the last episode of X-Files. I was pissed. <laughs> <laughs> 
calls me on the phone. I'm going, I got to take this. So luckily I had a recorder on, watch it later. And she wants to tell me all, she saw my name in the paper that day because they had an article that they did because I was MUFON and it was about the last show of X-Files. So she saw my name, called me on the phone, says, I want to talk to you. I'm an abduction experiencer, blah, blah, blah. She was all excited about being an experiencer. Well, after about 45 minutes of talking to her, I was catching in her voice, you know, she ain't real happy. So I set up to meet with her. I said, I'd like to talk some more with you. So we set up an appointment to meet at this little restaurant, and we met, and I started sharing with her what I had. And you know what? She freaked. She got, I got to go. <laughs> and away she went, out the door. I thought, well, that's that. I won't see Joyce again. But you know what? I did see Joyce again. Huh? I'll try. You have to forgive me. I'm a little nervous in front of crowds, okay? I got it. Okay. Thank you. He's right. I didn't trust him because I was devout atheist. So I didn't believe in God. Didn't want to have any part of that. I did tell Joe that I would read the testimonies that he gave me. I do try and keep my word. Whenever I give my word, I do try and keep it. So I took the testimonies and I left, and on my, on my way home, I uh, stopped at a red light. And uh, I got my first vision. And in my vision that I received was a beautiful picture of the world, looking from outside it. And then around it were a couple of hands with very long, long claws, nails, and a face that started to peer from behind it was absolutely hideous. And I knew right then, right then, that what he told me was true. I still didn't want to believe that, but I knew. And I knew the powers that I had been dealing with. And I knew I was in deep trouble. You want me to go from here? <laughs> I think I'm okay. About a week later, Joyce calls me and says, I want what you have. I had the opportunity of leading Joyce to Jesus Christ in my living room. I got her located with my church and my fellowship. We brought her up in the Word. <laughs> She's become a very powerful warrior. Years and years, this video has been running. Every year it runs, sometimes a couple years. But you know what? They don't show the end of the story. You're looking at the end of the story. This lady has been healed. No more experiences. She's back with her family, working with them. This is the evidence right here. Last year when I did this conference down here at the Pearson, I brought the living evidence up on that stage. Not one researcher would talk to these people because they knew if they did, they'd have to deal with it. Instead, they come after and attack us as being Christians. This is, I haven't said anything about being pre preaching Christianity. I'm here to show you evidence that I have come across, and you need to look at the evidence. If it leads you to dealing with Christianity, so be it. But that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to show you the most powerful evidence in the UFO realm for the entities we are working with. And it's an unwanted piece of that puzzle. Absolutely unwanted. You know what? I brought you one piece of the evidence. How about some more? Guy Malone. Guy's Living Testimony. He put his book on.